somebody goes to find out that the announcement of the budget of the provision of an economic development unit, and if there's some involved in 200,000 from that, well, it's just a happy coincidence, whereas the result of the proposal to make an option to the place of this proposal <coughs> are cost free. Recommendation 14.1J of the, uh, uh, the Chief Executive's report states <coughs> that I ask Council to agree that the approval to make technical amendments to the Constitution and operating agreement with the combined authority on behalf of the Council is then delegated to the Chief Executive in consultation with the Leader of the Council. Now, I think it's probably widely known in this Council that I don't take too far away to the present Constitution. Uh, I don't take too far away to the present arrangements for council meetings. And so I did the great conception of what the matter proposed is this. Technical amendments will be decided by the chief executive in conjunction with the leader of the council. Those amendments might be extremely important, but they're very <coughs> good. Uh, uh, I don't know if any possibility of my amendment being included, but just in case, just in case it's just uh, there. I would like assurances that any amendments to what is agreed tonight are in fact emailed, sent out straight away to all members of the council to give them an opportunity to comment before any such changes are made. Because I've seen technical issues uh, uh, <coughs> made in the past, and some of them did rather severe concerns. And now, I honestly do not believe that we should uh, be entering into this arrangement. It is absolutely an antithesis of democracy. It has, should have no part in any of the meetings tonight. There is no reason why the present system can't continue. It works extremely well. And I've seen nothing in the report that gives any example as to why it shouldn't be made the same as that. There's been no instances in the report saying why it is so widely necessary. But, uh, uh, I, I honestly think that uh, this is very important, that this is a matter where local government acts of 1974 and after the abolition of the county in 1986 and other acts since, gave power and responsibilities to the school authority for a wide range of uh, activities, including these under discussion tonight. <coughs> I don't think it's incumbent on anybody to transfer those responsibilities to another party without the consent of the people of this world. I think this calls for a referendum to reinforce whether you or I or we are right. And you have two more minutes. And all I'd say is that if everybody agrees with the cost of the referendum, it wouldn't be the same as voting. It would be a simple yes or no. Each party could put forward its case, uh, and then the words of the, um, the uh, referendum could be a matter of agreement between the parties. Uh, as regards the cost of witness for that, I think it would be considerably less than a stir up. Thank you. 
is again the same, talking about Norwich. This will create the, the jobs it will create, making the most of Norwich is renowned expertise in the knowledge economy. For each of all these deals that's been completed so far has been the rationale. And beyond the city deals, there's the enterprise partnership. And no doubt, I believe you can say about some of his work on that. But in generally, the government announced that Lord Hesseltine and Lord Shipley would be on a new body negotiating local group deals. So the world is changing around us. And what Lord Hesseltine and the Duke of Department or whatever it is, local government press release says, the best, the best model to provide sustainable growth is to create a balanced partnership between the government, business, and local leaders. And they talk about unleashing creativity and energy in every part of the country. And that's the big picture that we're in danger of missing. And I suspect that the referendum proposal <coughs> will not cost what's been suggested. And there's a question of the polling station, of getting the paperwork out and of the campaign. And I mean, no one's in favor of giving people a say, but the government gave this council on behalf of people a say <coughs> last autumn. And looking at the key issues raised by housing, since 2007, there's been a Merseyside local housing investment plan. And last October, it was the local enterprise partnership that had ratified the October plan. So how do you think that? I think that we're in danger of shooting ourselves in the foot if we don't take part in this organization. And it would lead to some removing of our sovereignty in the best interest of jobs on those who stand. <laughs> Yeah. 
change from the position of nothing which you said initially. If we weren't in this, we wouldn't get any money. That, that's it. He's absolutely committed to say that it's it's all like it, it's not certain that we would get those resources. And just to come out, I believe we would. I believe we have in the past and being able to operate as a council. I can remember the discussions we had about the enterprise zone and the fact that uh, other authorities uh, would have been quite happy to see our enterprise zone go down. And it was only because we were able to say we wanted it and the arrangements we had with and the agreement we had with Giants, we were able to actually support a rural uh, water enterprise zone. So, Phil, I think um, uh, members of the Labour group now it appears to have done so I think we should be very, very careful before we give away that autonomy, that flexibility that we currently have, and to invest in a in a body uh, that's actually not no track record of those bodies that they do in terms of track record has not been as successful as we're on that in terms of job creation and investment. I think before that is taken away, before we set up this this new city council, I think the public the world should have a say. I would absolutely support the approach that's been outlined by Councillor Hale. I think the public deserves to have that referendum before they have the, uh, the, the sovereignty to take it on. Skills, housing, these are functions that cut across local authority boundaries. 
And it makes so much sense to have a combined authority working in unison to collaborate on these issues. On the issue about the referendum, I did have to smile at the reference in John Hale's uh, amendment to the abolition of Merseyside County Council in 1986. I don't quite remember the referendum that agreed with that job that um, uh, the former Lady Thatcher um, moved in 1986. I might have missed it, but I don't remember the bigger referendum on, on, on that. I don't know what there was one. Um, I'm like, oh, it was a little certain my Thank you. 